So if I'm giving you guys now two points. So previously, we worked on the equation of line y equals mx plus b. And then I most recently told you y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1, where m represents our slope for both of those, b represents our y-intercept, and our y1 and y2, x1 and x2 represent points on a graph, right? Right? Right. Okay. Now, the problem is, if I want to find the equation of a line and I'm given two points, therefore my sergeant is talking and I'm, and I'm also talking, which is a problem, but if I'm given two points and I want to find the equation of a line, I need to think, all right, well, can I use, is it good to use this formula? There actually is a way, but what is this formula? What do we have to know? We have to know what the slope is, and we have to know what the y-intercept is. Does two points, does that tell us what the slope is or what the y-intercept is? It just display. Does it tell us the slope or the y-intercept? No, no, right? Right? That doesn't tell us what the slope is or what the y-intercept is, right? So it's very difficult for us to plug it into, plug into to this formula. However, this formula has a part where we can plug in both points, okay? So when you're given two points, it's helpful. There is a way to solve it this way, which I'll show you later. But it's very helpful just to use your two points and to plug it into your point slope form. So to do this, yes? Wouldn't you find the slope? Wouldn't you just uh, find the difference between both yeah, of the points? Yeah, exactly. Yes, you've, there's multiple, I mean, you, like I said, there's another way you can solve it by doing this. You can find the slope just by finding the difference. Or you can also graph these two points and find the slope and the y-intercept, right? Yeah. You could, that's easy. If you, that makes sense, then you could do it that way. I want to show you, though, you can also use this formula. And what I'm saying is if you plug in, let's make this x1, y1, and this x2, y2, right? You're just labeling the points. We know both these points are x1 and y1, but we want to distinguish between them. So what if I do, if I plug in these points, I get negative 3 minus a negative 2 equals m times 4 minus 9. Well, negative 2 minus a negative, negative 3 minus 2 is going to give me negative 1 equals m times 4 minus, 4 minus 5 is negative 5. So if I want to solve um, for my 5, or for my m, I divide by negative 5, and I get m equals 1 fifth, right? So now I can use that 1 fifth, um, guys, to plug into that equation. Yes? Is that negative 3 plus 12? That's a negative 3 minus a negative 2. Oh. So, it's at, so I made that to so double both positive to give me negative 1. Okay. So now I know my slope is m equals 1 fifth. <clears throat> What I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to plug now. Now I have my equation again with my slope. And remember our previous problem is once you know what the slope is, let's have the slope is cool. But then what do you have to do? You have to plug in a point, right? So here you have two points. Which point do you plug in? It doesn't matter. You can plug in any point. I will choose to plug in x um, this one. Actually, well, let's plug in the x1 and y1 just to make sure. Because remember, I told you guys to plug in, plug in the point for um, plug in the point that's going to make it the simplest, which would be y1 and x1 minus my x1, which is nine. All right, this is going to get a little confusing, but hopefully you guys will remember your fractions. Now, I only have one x, one y, so I don't need to keep on writing x2, y2. So I have y minus a negative 2, which is plus 2, equals 1 fifth times x. I'm going to do a security property. 1 fifth times a negative 9 is a negative 9 fifths. OK? Then I need to subtract 2. And I know a lot of you guys, that's going to go to 0. So I get y equals 1 fifth x minus 9 fifths minus 2. And you guys, a lot of you guys are probably freaking out. You say, Mr. McLogan, I do not remember how to multiply fractions or subtract fractions. 9 fifths minus 2. I need to write this as a denominator with 5, right? You have to have the same denominators. So 2 over 1 multiplied by 5 over 5. 
5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 1 is 10. So I'm left with 9 minus 10. So 9 minus 10 equals a negative 1 fifth. So therefore, my final equation is y equals 1 fifth x. Oh, that's a negative 9. My bad. So negative 9 minus 10 is going to be actually negative 19. So y equals 1 fifth x minus 19 over 5. So just to recap real quick, if you guys are given two points, you can plug in both points into your formula to solve for m. Or if you just want to find m on your own by graphing it or just looking at the points, you can do that as well. But then once you know what the slope is, you rewrite the equation, find the slope, and then plug in one of your points back into the equation and solve. All right? Yes? How did you get negative 9 over 5? I didn't get a negative 9 over 5. Oh. 1 fifth times x, 1 fifth times negative 9 is a negative 9 over 5. Okay. Okay.